the book covers the whole of my life up until 2003. And the reason I chose to stop there was that that was the time when Little Britain exploded onto TV screens. And I thought, actually, much more is known about that period onwards because that was the time when I became well known and I ended up being in newspapers, that kind of thing. Whereas no one knows this period. No one knows what I was doing up to, the, up to that age. And I think there's a really interesting story there. Sometimes the funniest things can happen to you when you're least expecting. Where I remember being a child and sitting around the Sunday lunch table with my mum, dad and sister. And we were all eating, you know, roast lamb. And my mum said, oh, there's something crawling across the floor. And she leant down, picked them out, put it in her mouth and carried on eating. And I went, what? What have you just done? She went, oh, well, I, I saw an earwig crawl across the floor, and at the same time, I saw a pea, and I picked that up and ate it. <laughs> but I think it's this great thing that, you know, humour's everywhere. In a lot of ways, I think my family are pretty eccentric. I remember my, my grandma, um, this was when she was quite elderly, and she'd gone a bit deaf, and my mum had to tell her that someone that she knew had died. So she said to her, Mum, have you heard... Winnie Wright has died. And my grandma looked at my mum and went, I'll eat whatever I'm given. <laughs> I think it's the best non sequitur I've ever heard. Camp David. I wonder why they called it that. <laughs>